What's going on everybody? It's another ride home review and this week I watched A Simple Favor starring Anna Kendrick, Blake Lively, and Henry Golding and directed by Paul Feig. Um, but before I get into that, like as usual, to make sure that you see all the reviews that I do, um, remember to subscribe to YouTube. They come out every week. Also check out my Anchor channel where if you'd rather have it on audio or in a podcast form, you can get it there. Plus, I do other reviews as well, as I like TV series I like to watch. Um, follow on Instagram, catch up on what you may have missed, and also, if you'd rather catch it on Facebook, I'm on Facebook, so like us there. So, to get into it, uh, a little bit of a background of uh, the movie A Simple Favor. It um, uh, takes place just outside of New York City, um, a young widowed mother, uh, Anna Kendrick, uh, has a son uh, in the same school as Blake Lively's character, and they hit it off a little bit. Um, she's kind of, Blake Lively's character is a little bit of a mystery, um, and then all of a sudden she disappears, and, um, and therefore secrets unfold from there. So it's a bit of a murder mystery, um, disappearing, a disappearance, all that stuff. So, um, what did I like about it? Well, I really liked, I really liked, uh, the chemistry, uh, between Lively and Kendrick. I thought that they worked really well together and, um, I liked a lot of the elements that they had in the show, um, to really build the character, especially Anna Kendrick's character, having the mommy blog, mommy, excuse me, mommy vlog, having that. And then, uh, you know, um, and then some of the twists that they had. I thought that that was pretty cool. Um, but uh, all in all, it was good to see Henry Golding in a second movie this year. Uh, he was also in Crazy Rich Asians, if you remember. Um, but uh, um, yeah, he's kind of a really cool, uh, really down to earth actor. Anyway, the things that I didn't care for where I think it got a little cutesy, uh, got a little cutesy with the humor, a little, little cliche, a little corny, if you will. I mean, I know Paul Feig is known for more of his comedy work, uh, than a mystery. I mean, but I, I got to give him credit for trying to step out into a different genre, but I just didn't, I just, some of the pieces just didn't float. And then there were some plots, plot points that didn't materialize uh that would have been nicer to to go into um it just was like i mean all in all it wasn't a bad movie but it wasn't it wasn't great with some of the things that it just didn't know what it wanted to do i mean i can see the cohen-esque trying to twist but it just didn't have that punch to it that the cohen's really do and have crafted over the last 20 almost 30 years well about 30 years that they've been doing it so so yeah, those are some of the things that I didn't really, I mean, it just, uh, the actors were good. I just had some problems with the story and some of the, the choices. Uh, it just didn't, just didn't grab me. It just was like, especially starting with the opening song, I was like, okay, what is this trying to be? You know, cause that's, that's what this, the film had a little trouble with the identity and then the transformation of Anna Kendrick was a little sudden in a bit. I don't know. It just, there's a lot of things that didn't work. And so, um, what to watch for though, Blake Lively was just dominating on the screen. She, her performance was great. So if you are a Blake Lively fan, you will not be disappointed. I thought that she did, she did a great, great job. Anna Kendrick did too, but Blake Lively really, um, took over that screen. So there you have it. Um, I'm not a real big fan of this movie. Um, you don't need to see it on the big screen. Uh, if you're an Anna Kendrick fan, it's a little bit different. Blake Lively fan, you'll like it. But all in all, I don't really think you really need to see this. So uh, there you have it. That's this week's Ride Home Review. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Anchor. See you next week. And until next time, watch something cool. Bye.